Alright, so uh, we can start up FontForge in the standard way. So we can uh, just launch the program however we normally would. And then we can create a new font. And let's go ahead and create a new uh, collaboration session. So we go to the collaborate menu and start session. And we'll just start this on the uh, local machine. And then we have to allow this you know, for the firewall. And then we go connect to session, and we can see a list of sessions on the local network. And uh, we can just connect to this local session. And so uh, this is now our collab client where we can actually do some editing. So let's open up the G here, and uh, let's just make a simple circle for that. And uh, so we can, you know, other people can connect to this uh, session and edit that. But what we want to do now is see the live web preview of this. So we're going to go to the collaborate menu and start web font server and then when we do that it pops up a new font forge instance here and then we can go to uh, our web browser and go to localhost port 8000 and we can see that this is the implori.com slash testing page that's loaded from our local computer. Now if we start to uh, make changes to our font here then we should see that it's being updated on the web in real time. And so we can develop web fonts with an instant feedback loop, seeing exactly how our font is going to be developed by looking at, looking at it on the web.